winter in Henan Province, China, delivers the expected snow. The snow is a sign 62-year-old Zhang Shaoshou has been waiting for because it means her daughter will visit soon. Winter tonics are popular this time of year. Zhang Shaoshou starts to prepare the special herb for her daughter. It's called Di Huang, or Chinese foxglove root. Jiaozuo City in Henan Province, China, is located on an alluvial plain formed by the Yellow and Qing rivers. Its highly fertile yellow soil provides perfect conditions for the Di Huang herb. Jiaozuo is famous as the place where the most potent Di Huang comes from. Di Huang is one of the most commonly used tonic herbs and has different names for different forms. Raw, sun-dried Di Huang is known as Sheng Di Huang. After it's dried and then steamed, it is called Shu Di Huang. Di Huang has differing medicinal effects depending on the way it's prepared. The sun-dried product cools and cleanses the body, while the dried then steamed root warms and nourishes one's body. Tradition says the highest quality Shu Di Huang should be as dark as ink, as shiny as a mirror, and as sweet as honey. Steaming Di Huang into Shu Di Huang is a demanding and time-consuming process. After washing the dried Di Huang, the roots are marinated in yellow wine. After the marination, the herb is placed in wooden steamers. Metal steamers should not be used since Di Huang will easily pick up a metallic flavor and be ruined. The steaming process is crucial for the transformation of Di Huang's potent properties. The first 48 hours require non-stop steaming. The fire must be carefully tended, making sure it never dies out. In the middle of the night, the temperature drops to 5 below 0 Celsius. <laughs> Zhang's daughter arrives earlier than expected to relieve her mother of her shift. But the daughter knows very well that from the moment they put the Di Huang steamers on the stove, her mother will not be able to get much sleep the entire month. The secret of steaming Di Huang is in the liquid extracted during the steaming process. Every drop must be collected. That is the essence of Di Huang. The Di is the Zhang checks the color of the Di Huang after the first steaming by splitting it open. The brownish color she finds indicates it's not ready. To make the best quality blackened, shiny Shu Di Huang herb, the steamed Di Huang has to be sun dried, then basted with the liquid extracted from it while being steamed. It is then put back in the steamer to allow the sun dried Di Huang to completely absorb the liquid. The process is repeated nine times over a month-long period. Following this time-honored tradition will result in high-quality Shu Di Huang. Modern processes use machine-operated sealed steaming jars with high heat and pressure and reduces the whole process to 24 hours. The traditional month-long steaming and sun-drying method is rarely practiced anymore. From this wintry courtyard of the Zhang family, we watch as a mother tirelessly prepares Shu Di Huang herb in the traditional way. Her devotion to the process reveals her love for her daughter. It's not uncommon to see the same thing happen with other ordinary families all across China. Family members diligently turning raw herbs into medicine to show their love and care for each other. <laughs>